Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This video is going to detail the build process for my fractal vise. I'll begin by showing what non-printed hardware is required, then the rest of the video will just be me assembling the vise with minimal editing. It's really only intended for people who are actually putting one together. If you haven't seen the first video, I would recommend watching that instead of this one. Anyways, let's begin. First, the non-printed hardware. As you can see, it's pretty minimal. You will need 7 lengths of 3 16 4.5mm threaded rod. 4 of them 27cm long, 2 of them 22cm long, and 1 of them 6.5cm long. Other hardware includes 3 M4 bolts at least 70mm long, 3 M4 nuts and optional washers, and 10 nuts for the 3 16 rod. Finally, if you are going with the elastic jaw option, which I have found to be the most effective so far, you will need the smallest elastic you can find, and 1.5mm rod or wire, around 30cm of it. Here is the orientation I recommend to print all the parts. I do print the dovetails with support, but I found it to not be an issue, as shown here. All of these parts, apart from the TPU jaws, are printed in cheap eBay PLA. Infill is up to your preference, I went with 25% apart from the gears which were 50 and the smallest jaws which were 100. We shall begin with these jaws. There are two options, the elastic and the TPU versions. The elastic option is more complex but it is more dynamic. The TPU option is much simpler but a little less dynamic. I'll show how to make the elastic one now. First I will take a roughly 40mm length of the wire I'm using and using a file fashion it into a makeshift drill bit like this. I will then use this to make sure all the holes are the ideal dimension. With all the holes to size, we will now make one jaw. You will need three lengths of the wire, 20mm long each. Insert these into the three holes of the jaw pieces. Next, cut an oversized piece of the elastic, perhaps 5cm in length. Thread it over one jaw like this. I found that the back of a craft knife blade was good for pushing the elastic through since it is a tight fit. Even out both ends and run it through the body. Run one side of the elastic through the next jaw, going back around.
for this next step, but helping hands is very useful if not essential. Take both pieces of elastic and pull taut, clamping as close to the jaws as possible. Tie a reef knot, right over left and under, left over right and under, and release. Now just trim the excess and you're done with your first jaw. Repeat seven times. I'll say it looks really painful here, but it's much easier when you're not having to work around a tripod. Next, the TPU jaw. First, I'll add this line of dialogue so I can make this section more than 10 seconds long so it can have its own chapter. Next, I'll take one TPU face and one jaw and slot them together like this. Simple as that. Also, the one thing of note with the threaded rods. The two 22cm rods need a 1.5cm flat filed on one end. It's about a millimetre off the diameter, just file until it's close, see if it fits, and repeat. Rest of the video will be me putting the vise together with very little editing, so uh, enjoy that. I was a bit tired while filming it, so my commentary is not the best, but I think it still serves the purpose of illustrating how to put one together. Okay, improv time. So, at this point I'm assuming that you've um, followed all the steps up until now, so all these other parts should be assembled. And to begin with, I'm going to take this piece here and put the two lead screws through the furthest holes, like so. Um, next up, I'm going to take this slide piece and let's flip it up like this to make it easier to work with the way I had it. Um, I'm going to put two of the nuts into the holes. Put this in. And that should start going in. Yep. Uh, do this to make it easier. And then we're just going screw this all the way in. Okay, once that is all the way done, this is the point where you can um, adjust these gears to make sure that they're lined up properly and that it's all level. So pretty much just get it almost tight, but not quite, and you'll be left with this assembly here. So, next up, we're going to take this piece, and we're going to take oh, no, these two. These two gears, this one, this one, and this one, which... We're going to line these up with the holes like this. And this has the option here, um, to put two bolts all the way through if you wanted to, um, you know, add some sort of, like, I don't know, drill attachment or something, but we're not going to be doing that, so we'll just take this, put that in there, and then we also need two of these. These are the um, M4 bolts, about 70 mil long at least, though they can be a bit shorter these on here we'll just slide this assembly almost together just get the teeth lined up get that in just slide this whole assembly together and it should just all click into place like that we go. We're now left with this assembly here. Sorry, my commentary is subpar today. I'm a bit tired. But, um, whatever. So, uh, I'll flip this over. I'm going to take some M4 nuts. Put those 
down like that. Yes, this does stick out, um, but uh, with you know, if you the, the jaw covers it completely, so you're not really going to you know be using this. And these are the 80 millimeter bolts. That's why I say you can go down to 70 and have no problem. Um, and yeah, again, because of where the jaw is, these are covered completely. It's not really usable space, so I don't consider it to be a huge problem. And come back over. You don't want to over tighten these, or else the whole mechanism will get rather stiff. Um, but, but there we go. Nice and smooth. Nice and good. Okay, next up we're going to take this piece and slide this assembly in. Let's do it this way first. Anyways, uh, nothing happened there. We're just going to... You'll see that I had a printing error here. The bed lifted up a bit, but you know, it still works, so there's no point replacing the whole part. Um, and then with that on, this next piece can slide in here. And there are holes that mate with this on this side, um, which I'm just trying to... There we go. Once that's lined up, still clips together just like that. So, next up we're going to take our threaded rods and we're going to take the nuts off one end. The other end needs the nuts to be left on. That is important. Is this end? There we go. And so, in setting them from this end, because you notice you can tighten the nuts on this end, you can't tighten them on this end. So, I'm going to begin by checking up one frame, which we are, and then just sliding these all the way through, just like that. I will say by default the um, holes are tight, um, so you like pushing them through might be like difficult unless your print was absolutely perfect and your rods are absolutely straight. Um, so for mine, I have gone and um, drilled out the holes. Like you see here, this one's a bit uh, tough. So I'm gonna do it for this. Bit of percussive maintenance. Getting these to the same level is purely for aesthetic purposes. Anyways, do that. But yeah, so um, if you want to drill the holes out to five mil from the four point five mil they are by default, um, feel free. That's what I've done here. Anyways, we're gonna put the next um, end on. And you'll notice that, um, oops, caught it. So this is like, I'm not entirely happy with this design choice of the rods. They had a lot of strength. Um, I think structurally they make sense, but tightening them, tightening them like this can be a pain in the ass. Um, so what I'm going to do here is because this one's a bit tight, I'm going to hold the other end with a pair of pliers. And you'll need to do this for all of them in the end anyways to get them properly tight. Um, but yeah, you'll... I can't find my spanner, so I'm using pliers. But yeah, get them mostly on, mostly tight. Repeat on the other side. Okay, I see this one's turning a bit, so... The reason these nuts aren't going on is because I haven't deburred the ends of these rods properly. Um, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Okay. Now, that's mostly complete. Um, next up, we're going to take 
this piece here, you'll see there's already two M4 bolts in there. And this is just going to clip in there like this. Now in here, um, we need to put another M4 bolt, and this, this whole operation can be a little bit tricky, I found, to get it uh, to work properly. So I'm going to put that in there. Put this in. Yet another M4 bolt, which should have a washer on it, but it doesn't. I'll say, I'll, I'll say, I'll twist it. Is it screwing in? I think it is. So I got lucky this time. Um, and it lined up perfectly. But anyways, um, this bolt you'll see sticks out a lot. It could go down to like a 50 millimeter bolt. I'm using an 81, but you know, for demonstration purposes. And then we just do that like that. Next up, another two M4 bolts into these um, further stalls. On yours, there should be an extra two holes here uh, for screwing it down to the bench. I didn't print that. I didn't think it was worth reprinting. Um, but yours will look a little different from mine. So uh, Find the Allen key I want. Then just do this until it is tight. Ideally. Same thing again. There we go, then let's take the jaws. It's pretty self-explanatory how these go together. Just slide them in like this. Um, I'm sure some people won't like how loose these are, because they, they, them coming apart is a little annoying. Um, I've found it to be just that. It's like annoying at most. Um, if you want to make it less annoying and you're not planning on you know, drilling or anything, you could put it, if it fits, you could put in a plate like that um, or something in the groove to you know, keep the jaws from falling through. But anyways, let's just slide this in. Yeah, like that. That's, that is very annoying, but once they're in, it's not too bad. Slide that in. Grab the other one. Make sure it's all assembled. And, ta-da, you now have a finished fractal vise. Whoop, um, that's all there is for this. Sorry that that was a bit extended and rambled, but you know, if you're building one, you're going to be having this time anyway, so I, I'm not too worried about making it succinct. So, um, hope you enjoyed watching, hope you enjoyed the project. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already, all that good stuff. Um, and I'll see you in another video.